Good day, attackers, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you a video, although there'll be no replay except for maybe a couple of clips as I'll be using as an example. This video is how to get better at World of Tanks, or as I want to call this video, how to get good. Now, um, what can you do to get better? Well, there's many things you can do. There's, there's plenty of things out there to show you how to get better. This video is more for those who are in the 49% region, so that you're not you're not great you win probably half your battles and you don't always contribute that well so what can you do to fix this now i find playing medium tanks and light tanks is a great way to sort of learn a number of reasons for a number of reasons one map positions mediums and lights don't have a lot of armor so they don't have the ability just to tank and take damage they have to use positions on the map to hide, cover their armor so that they can't actually get shot, and they also need to learn how to react to the flow of the battle. So, say you're in your medium tank, and on one side, of the, one, on both sides of the map, there's two he there's heavies on both sides. So, you can see one side is doing quite well, they're winning. Do you need to go there? Probably not. The other side is in a stalemate. Whereas no one's really taking any damage, but no one's doing any damage, because everyone's being very passive. In that situation, you can use your medium tank to flex over to them, flank the enemy heavies, which will probably make them either A, move out of the way, mo start moving so your heavies can start pushing up, or they'll panic and start to try to shoot at you, which is when you hide, and wait, and hopefully your heavies will take advantage. And, and you can just sort of do this, sort of poke, shoot, take some health off, then go away for about 10 seconds and come back, poke, shoot. It's, it's, this is why a lot of the Russian memes are quite good, because they can do this quite quickly. Especially tanks with good gun handling. I mean, if you're in a Chinese medium, that's, that's probably not the best medium to do it in, but you can still do that. Um, the T-44 is a great example of this. The gunner has is quite... Um, quite good, very good gun handling, although the d gun depression is pretty mediocre at 5 degrees. The Pershing's also good at this, with an 8 or 9 degree um, gun depression. Um, Comet's also very good at this, although not as fast as the others. And yeah, it's this, this is some of the things you, can, you need to think of while playing a medium tank. Um, you also get to load all the good spots, all the good um, spotting spots, all the good uh, chokehold points, so you can use your medium, especially if it's got good um, turret armor, to hold an area even for maybe a couple of minutes. And yeah, and you can you can really learn some great things from just doing that sort of thing. So I'll just I'll now I'll now take you out of World of Tanks. I'm going to take you to the internet. Wow, the internet! Great place that place. Um, yes, there's some interesting things out there. I'll take you there now. Okay, as you can see here, I'm at the uh, Wargaming Wiki. Now, there's a lot of information here that's very important on this website, and I'll take you there now. You're also going to see how slow Australian internet is. Now, this is important, this stuff here, so the tank stuff's important, that's not what we're here for. What you want to look for is game mechanics. So like things like view range and camouflage, gallery and armor penetration, um, view comparison is also useful. Matchmaker, that's all stuff you want to know, how to, you want to know and sort of at least memorize or kind of memorize. You, there's some things down here like video guides, tutorial tactics and stuff like that. That's, that's great for intermediate players, but not, not for high level players. It's, a lot of it's just tank tactics. Don't, don't worry about that stuff. You want to make sure you learn this game mechanic stuff. So you want to make sure you know that. So what... What what would I choose if I was intermediate player? I would make sure I understand view range and camouflage because if you don't understand that, you're not going to do very well because you're going you're gonna to pop out, get spotted, and die. That's that's pretty much what's going to happen. Um, carry armor penetration still very important. So where where do you where do you shoot a tank um, to do damage to it? This is basically what this will talk about. This is what you want to learn. So another thing, what, what what can you do? You can. What else can you do to get better? Well, something I like to do is watch replays. This is Quickie Baby's um, stream website, and the great thing is you can look at 
these different replays. Like, obviously, um, if I were you, I would look up the stats of each of these people to, to find out are they decent players or are they just lucky. I see this guy in the uh, 907. Not many bad players get this tank. So he would probably be a very good um, person to watch a replay of. So let's have a stone you do. About 4,000. So he's done that over a platoon. That's probably not a bad carry. Um, yeah, you can also check on like W8 and stuff like that on his side. Same with what replays. I use that for my um, replays and uh, and posting stuff up. So this is so you can go to. You can find out different um, replays like Ace Tanker. It'll show you all the Ace Tanker replays, and you can just go through them. They're, it's 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 just watching these and sort of going right. What did he do here? Where did he go? How did he play it? Um, just looking at those and find and working out how you should be playing your tanks is great. This is great if you're a new tank as well, you're not sure how to play it. Watch these people. This is how you how you learn. Another thing is my, one of my favourite websites. It's What Labs. What Labs is a statistics tracker and it's got for all the different servers. Now let's see. I'm typing one hand here so I apologise. And we will search on player and we'll see my stats. So as you can see here, my um, statistics, this is my overall, so I'm a green level player um, with a pretty average win rate, but my recent stats are a 2,123 WN8 and a 56% win rate, which is great. This is, this is, this is a good, decent, um, uh, decent stats, but... 12 months ago, before I started doing this YouTube channel, I was lower than this. I was, in my recents, I was terrible. I was not a good player. And I have learned through reviewing my own replays with this channel and deciding, well, what may, what's the point of me putting up videos if I'm not that good and I want to look better? Well, you could improve. So... And this is this is what you can look at. So you can go. This is why this is like battles for the last twenty four hours, seven days, three days, sixty days, and then there's the thousand battles. Which this is what this is. So this is the last one thousand battles is your recent stats, and I've averaged that. Or on sixty days, I've averaged a little bit better. So I am actually continuously improving. And it goes down. and It shows you things like you clear more stats. You can't. You company stats. I haven't played a company in a long time. I just decided I didn't like them. I play mostly solo if you hadn't realised. Um, your public battles is how many public battles I've played. Victories, win percentage, average damage. Um, that's not great. I want to raise that if I can, my average damage. Um, you win rate by different nations and different tiers. Apparently... My, I've got the worst win rate in my tier threes, which I don't really care about. It averages out, like you look at it. Oh, really? Tier nine. I've only got tier two, two tier nines. Um, as you hear, yeah, you can see my win rate climbing through the last 2,000 so battles. <coughs> I apologise, I do have a cold, so uh, I hope... Uh, you can uh, be patient. So see here, this is about 2,000 battles ago, my W8 was 1,067, and we're now up to 1,289, which is quite decent. You also you also see like, the different clan clans I've been in, like I used to be in a Canadian clan, American clan, Amer Australian clan now, a, and then a um, New Zealand clan. I left this clan because this wasn't very good for me. Um... And you can also get some cool stuff for any forum signatures you have on a World of Tanks forum. So like, that's what it looks like. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, tanks, it can, show, it can show you what tanks you do best in. Like, apparently I'm very good in these tanks. Not really. These are the tanks you want to look at. Uh, this is the T-43, which is the most recent tank I've been playing. Um, and the T-44. As you can see, I'm um, getting super unicorn stats in that tank. I don't know what it is about that tank. I've never played something as, like that that's amazing like that. So, um, 
don't take my word on it though give it a try it's probably not the right tank for you i just loved the dpm which was really nice um c44 i'm still getting used to i've played 52 battles at a 50 percent win rate which is not too bad i was doing per game of 1400 so that's not too bad but i want to raise that because i'm i'm not too happy about how well i've won that so yes you can see this is how well you've done these bat these tanks you can go through them and look at them and see where you're going badly what labs also has its own forum and this forum is actually really awesome for what it has like it has everything like core skills and game mechanics metagame discussion um different comparisons on the different vehicles it's it's all here everything's here if you if you you can even there's a tape study area where you can post a like a lost game where you did really really well but you're lost and you can go well hang on what could i have done to change this and there are people who will sit there and watch your replay and go you should have done this 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 and this to win the battle and this is how you will get better it's from constant uh criticize not criticizing sorry um what would you call it uh self-analysis of your own play and go what could i have done like if you die in a battle don't quit the battle have a think what did i do wrong i went here here i went there i did bad i traded badly there so i, I shot him he shot me twice that's not cool it should be he shot me once i shot him twice or three times for damage so when tra like so for training that's another thing training if he shoots you once you want to put at least twice as much damage into him so or if he shoots you don't let him go unpunished shoot him back make sure he you do damage to him you want to do that another site i really like is uh noob meter while there's not as many resources on here that although there are a fair few you can it's pretty much the same as what as what labs it tells you the most recent stuff but one thing that this one has is you can look up replays for different uh, players as well. So, actually, I don't know how to do that. I can't remember. <laughs> but, yeah, have a look through that. Newmeter.com. It's a decent site. It's the first one I was on before I found Watt Labs. Another thing to watch is uh, Twitch. I mean, look at all these. This, these are all different streamers. Like These are Russian streamers. There's, some, some, there's an American streamer right there. American player streamer. Blue Stealth, uh, the Clan G. G only accepts the best. And Blue Stealth, I've watched him before. He's really good. I really enjoy it. Another one is Anfield. He's with Bulbar at the moment. Junkers is with another clan. I'm not sure which one, but he's really good. Zevin is probably one of the best players I watch for educational purposes. He will analyze everything. He even, ha he, he even has a session where he sits there and says to people, upload your replays. I will watch them real time and comment on them for you. And he'll do that, and it's really good. Well, each of the, all these guys have YouTube channels as well, which I will take you to YouTube. So yeah, this is all the all the things I have been watching. So all these different World of Tanks players. Some of these guys don't all play World of Tanks, but most of my stuff is water tanks and you can see from my subscriptions all these guys are very good players i don't i don't watch average stuff because i don't find it exciting um except for that that's pretty funny but all these guys are really good players and please check them all out they're all awesome um i may even share them throughout the uh the video so yes those are some of the things you can do now there's one more thing i'd like to show you okay so tank inspector as you can see this will show you different details of a tank so so look at this so you want to learn how to pin this this tank so where should i shoot it so you can see from here like this is the this is ways you can look at how to angle your tank you can also tell the tank how to, how to move and stuff like that. So, where's the weak point of this tank? So, you can shoot it here. You can also see the damage model of the tank, which is I find very useful. That was a little weak spot there. I've never seen that one before. That's pretty cool. 
Okay, that's useful to, useful to know. So yes, yeah, so you can see all these little weak points and check out stuff. But something that's also very useful is um, checking out the stats of the vehicle. So you can see this. So it's pen you got penetration and all these different little stats. These are all the hidden stats you can't normally see. So what you can look at is go, right, well, this has got this, but I can go, okay, let's add pre ventilation. Um, gun rammer. And where is it? Vet stat, vet stat, there it is. So I've got those. So as you can see now, the all the stats have changed and they're slightly better. But I can also add in different things like this. So add that. I'm not putting this in any particular order. I'm just adding what I think would be good. I don't like these extra things. I wish they'd be separate. But so. So I've added that stuff, and I can also add crew skills. So, okay, so, so we'll just add Buzz and Arms. And it just shows you that it adds extra, um, how much extra skill there is. So, like, um, I've brought the gun reload time to, oh wait, it's on the wrong gun, so like, on the gun I use on this, I use the LB1, which is far better, don't use the 22. You can now see that the reload time is now 6.4 seconds. That's really good. That's quite fast. And the view range, what's the view range now? It's 412 meters, which is not bad. If you change, you can change that for optics. And in pubs, I would say use optics, because now you've got 444. So, what happens if I add under my crew skills? Then recon. Snapshot. This is just working out if this is worth it. So, go to here. That's got 469. So, do we really need. So that's still a decent view range, so that's probably not bad. And now you've got your four six. So if you've got an experienced crew, you can work out what combinations would be the best. Then you can go right. How do I spend my gold? If you buy gold, that is. Um, you can go right. I'm gonna use my gold like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna sort out my crew skills so that they work properly, and you can work out the the math behind it. So I think that four thirty eight. Um, view range for a tier 8 is, while not brilliant, is acceptable um, to play the game. So, you could probably put the argument for that optics is better than vents, but that's not why we're here. Um, so, but, okay, well, I'm going to leave it there, because basically that's those are the things you can do. And it's all about self-analysis and basically asking questions. Go onto forums. Go watch stuff. Um, like... You don't have to necessarily watch my videos. I'm not the best player, um, but you you will learn a couple of things from my ba my battles because I do play some decent battles. But that's all through going right. I'm crap. How do I not get crap? And that's what you want to want to do. You want to go out there, learn all you can, analyze yourself, and go right. What am I doing wrong? And you will have more fun. People have gone, oh, this game's no fun because I don't win lots. Well, why don't you win lots? Work it out. So if you work out how to win more and better, you'll have more fun. And this is why I also ignore the main forums. The main forums are a cesspit of scum and villainy. Just, I just sneaked that Star Wars reference in there. Um... It's just, there's just not, it's not worth going there. All you'll get is people who just like to troll you, and they, they're not, they're not happy people in most cases. This is why What Labs is probably the best, um, or one of the best, uh, forums for this, because everyone there is all about getting better. Everyone. People who aren't about that don't last long. They either get banned, or they change their attitude, 
or they just leave. It's it's why I love that forum. Everything you read on there is great. There's some funny stuff in there as well, some non-serious stuff, but that's in its own little area. If you want to learn, go to What Labs, start learning, and watch replays. There's a purple, there's even a purple uh, player replay place for people who have, who are purple players, so Yuhams can play well, and watch those replays. There's some great stuff in there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off this time. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. I certainly did, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.